How you doing, Dustin? I'm well, thank you. Cool name. Hey, you guys. It's great. Thank Love you. it. Love it already. I thought you were talking about the name Stefan. I was like, actually, that's not that's not as cool. <laughs> no, that is cool. It reminds me of Stefan Urkel from Family Matters back in the day. Remember uh, when he was going to his machine and then turned from Stephen Urkel into Stefan? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so um, actually the coolest name when you think about it. Yeah. Thanks. So this is a great ensemble in this movie. I really enjoyed it. I mean, there's some real comic talent in this. I always wonder when you want a movie like this surrounded by funny people with great timing, uh, does it encourage improvisation or when you are on a comedy and there's a script that's been crafted specifically for laughs, is it sometimes just better to stick to what's on the page? There were moments in this one. I, I'll say this. This was one of the best scripts I've ever read. So uh, there were moments where you could do alt takes and, and like, improvising not quite as much it was more like we had a few different alternate lines planned um but uh yeah this is something where it's like you just could trust the dialogue and the pacing of it all so much because it was so well crafted uh from the very beginning and yeah it, it is a question that comes up a lot people are like oh there must have been so much improvising with all these comedians but uh, i think a really good comedian knows that when you have the right words you don't have to do anything it's effortless you just have to um, just have to say it and see what happens. I don't know that. I don't think I'm a very good comedian, but uh, this is what I understand from all the greats. Uh, sometimes when you uh, get invited to a wedding, the bride and groom on their kind of invitation, they have a, a, a section where you can get to choose a song to play at their wedding because uh, it's a kind of part of the RSVP. Uh, what would you say is your go-to wedding song? What's the song that always gets you on a dance floor at weddings? Uh, gosh. Um... You know, probably, uh, oh, oh, we were just talking about this. What, is it Dancing uh, On My Own by Robin? Dancing By Myself by Robin? What's that Robin song where she's dancing with no one else? Um, I mean, it could be on her own, by herself. You don't I'm know the song sure. I'm talking about? You I don't know the song by Robin? I bet I know if I hear it. Like oh, I know that song. Of course I... People hear dancing just by me. I know you know that song. I know that song, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that that's the one. <laughs> Um, so I was going to ask too, I mean, uh, you were shooting in London, of course. How was your experience coming over here? Have you shot in London before? No, I've always dreamed of it. I love uh, London and uh, haven't really spent a lot of time there. So when I say I love it, I guess I love the idea of it. But having uh, the opportunity to shoot there, and, and I was there for over a month, uh, mm. it was really incredible. I, I love the city. I love the people. And getting to... Uh, go there and visit while working is always kind of the best version of it because you sort of have a purpose but then can go off and explore and i did a lot of walking i walked all over that city and by all over that city i mean uh you know within a 10 block radius of where i was staying but it was still a lot of walking yeah a lot of laps did you eat anywhere nice uh a couple places i wouldn't really be able to remember um had some of the worst takeaway pizza of my <laughs> life in London. I'm just going to be honest. It was also though I ordered it at like 2.30, so I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, so I was going to, in regards back, going back to the movie, uh, sometimes um, uh, when I think delving into a kind of a, a film that's in, set in and around a family at a kind of big event where lots of home truths come out, feuds are ignited. And they just, for me, that's such an enjoyable stomping ground. What do you think it is that makes that such compelling uh, kind of territory, I suppose, for filmmakers? I mean, I think it's just one of those things where uh, we, we take the idea of, of what is supposed to be. So uh, a wedding is supposed to be a joyous celebration where family comes together and it's nothing but love and reflections on on the beauty of their futures forward and all that. And then family is supposed to be something that's nothing but support and love and all that. But the reality is, is that everybody knows family is not uh, almost ever what it's supposed to be, nor are weddings ever what they're supposed to be. And I think that creates just this, this beautiful uh, setup for comedy and then also for finding uh, the truth about those things, the truth about what your family really is uh, and in, you know, in all its uh, perfect imperfectness. And just very quickly before I go, but I'm sure you hear this all the time, but I'm just going to mention it anyway. I literally just finished Shit's Creek like last week. So I know it's quite late. Oh, right on. I, I loved it. It's like a warm hug of a show and I miss it already. But I was lucky enough to meet Annie last week and she was every bit as lovely as the show is. I just wondered, is that tone we see as an audience reflective of the shoot? Was Is it just as bloody lovely show to create as it is to watch? 
Uh, I mean, I, I, I think it's one of those things where it's like that show went on for so long. It's like it is still a job, uh, but we were really lucky in that a lot of the cast got along very, very well. Annie is a buddy of mine, uh, and and it's it's one of those things where those relationships have lasted since then, and I think that alone is testament to what the experience was. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, and best of the release of the movie. Thank you. Cheers, thanks, Dustin. Cheers. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 